Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy any machine learning or deep learning model on Google Cloud Platform and uh, I'm going to take less than 10 minutes and you will too after this one. So I'm not going to build the model because we have already done that. So you can see this is the melanoma deep learning model that we have. So there is an API file in which we have the API and we, we are going to start from here. So we have this API running on all host at port 8080. So we have done everything. And if you haven't seen this video, I would totally recommend you to go and watch the melanoma deep learning video of mine. And we have a Docker file. And what the Docker file does is uh, it installs Ubuntu 18.04, then it updates uh, apt get and installs Python 3, Python 3 pip and sudo I, I don't think we need all this stuff but anyways it adds a user abhishek and uh, uh, it changes the owner of the home abhishek folder and then it copies everything from the current folder that is like from here to slash home abhishek app and now uh, we are using the user abhishek and then we uh, run pip install upgrade pip so we upgrade pip we enter the app directory and we install all the requirements and uh, then we set our working directory as slash home app uh, abhishek and app and we expose port 8080 we run python 3 when the docker runs so python 3 api.py not a lot of things that you need from here uh, so you can probably simplify it to maybe six five six lines of uh, docker file code and you need the API and obviously you need the model, which is here. So we have everything that we need. Now we just need to deploy it. And that's the beauty of Docker. So once you have Docker, learned to Dockerize stuff, deploying is a piece of cake. So now we go to the terminal. Uh, to deploy on Google Cloud, since we are using GCP in this project, you have to uh, first init G Cloud. So you have to run the command G Cloud in it if you have not done that already but if you have done that you don't need to uh, do it again so you see like when i write g cloud in it um sorry not g loud but g cloud in it so here it shows youtube because i'm working on the youtube project so you have to select your project so when you do g cloud in it it's going to ask you for your email the project id that you're working on and uh the region so once you fill out all those details uh you can start from here so now what you do is you run docker build so now this is a special docker build command it's not very special but i, I like to call it special and uh it's only different because here you specify a target uh, which is gcr.io slash your project id slash uh, whatever the name you want so here I call it melanoma colon v1 and then a dot and then we build this docker container and that's going to take some time anyways. So in the meantime, I can show you something else. So what are we going to deploy on today? We are going to deploy our model on cloud run. So cloud run is a fully managed compute platform for deploying and scaling containerized applications quickly and securely. So what happens is you you have a container and it, it, it is serverless and um, you have a container and you can deploy this on cloud run and if it's getting a lot of requests then google is uh, going to scale it automatically and it's it's also uh, SS, ssl enabled so you all the requests are safe uh so yeah it takes a few seconds so once you do the basic stuff it just takes a few seconds and it's fully managed by google and uh, there, there are some more things that you can do but i will come back to them a little bit later so our our docker container is built so what you do now is you do docker push and then you specify the same um, docker uh, container name that you built just now with gcr.io so it's going to push it push your docker container to this path so we do that uh, and it starts pushing and 
in the meantime, we go and see what Cloud Run looks like. So this is Google Cloud Run. So this is my project, which is YouTube for now. And here you can see, you can create a service. You can also add custom domains and that's pretty cool because you can host your own website or your portfolio uh, project with different APIs and stuff. You can go crazy if you want. So we create a service and when we, when we create a service, uh, it, it is going to ask us a few things. So one of the things that it's going to ask us is, uh, do you want a fully managed cloud run? So that's what we are going to do in this video. We want a fully managed cloud run service. So you choose a region. So let's say I'm, I'm choosing Europe West one. And uh, then you have some name for the service. So I'm going to say melanoma and allow unauthenticated invocations. So, so that anybody can, anybody on the internet can access your service. If you don't want this, then you do require authentication. And then we click on next. So when we click on next, it's asking us what is the container image URL. So this is the container image URL you will get after your uh, image has been pushed. Uh, let's copy this one. And let's go here and paste it. So now uh, we have pasted it and it says that it should listen for HTTP request on dollar port, which is your environment variable and not rely on local state. State is not saved. So nothing is saved inside this container, uh, inside this service when it's running. So container port is 8080 in our Docker. It's also 8080, so we don't need to change that. You can have some uh, container command if you don't want to use the entry point that you have defined in your container, but you, you have already done that. So you don't need this either. And you can have some container arguments and uh, what service account you want to use. So I'm using compute engine default service account. And uh, then memory allocated, I'm just going to make it four gigabytes of RAM and two CPUs. Request timeout is 80, maximum request per container uh, is 80 and request timeout is 300 seconds, maximum number of instances. So here you have to be careful. So let's say 10 instances. So it can scale up to 10 instances on its own. Pretty cool, right? There are many other things that you can do here. You can add environment variables if you're using Cloud SQL. So you can add Cloud SQL connection and you, you probably also need to add VPC for that. But anyways, and then you click on create. I already clicked on create. Okay, so this is done. So I clicked on create, so it's fine. And uh, now you wait for some time. Uh, so you see setting IAM policy is done. It's creating revision is pending and it's uh, routing traffic is pending. And now we wait for maybe a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes. So it looks like it's done now. And when it's done, it will give you a URL. So you see an HTTPS URL and then you click on this URL and it will open your application. So it should open mine and the first run takes some time. So bear with it, but the next runs are quite fast. So it de depends on the traffic. If there is no traffic at all, why do you need the service to be running? So it's that concept. So here is my application and then I go and choose an image and it's going to predict something. So let's see, let's try, let's just try any sample image to see if it's even working. So as, as you can see, I uploaded a simple green image and yeah, it gives me a prediction. So my application works and that's all my friends that that's, that's it. So you can upload any image you want and you can fetch predictions out of it. So your model deployment is done and uh, you can do a lot of other things here. So you can, you can manage custom domains. You can add your own custom domains or subdomains if you want. And there's so much to explore here. I cannot explain in 10, 15 minutes. And I think I've already passed 10 minutes anyways. So try this and let me know how it goes for you. And I hope this video has been useful. If you have any comments, let me know and do like, subscribe and share the video. Bye.